I really feel like we are this really important bridge generation that I didn't grow up with technology, but we learn how to use technology and we have old school ways of thinking and I don't want to project. So I'll say I have old school ways of thinking and I have new school ways of thinking. And there's something about spending a lot of time with, with people in, in our, our like age category, age bracket, where we've touched into things in the world and we see things in a really big way and we want to be of service. And we've understood how some of the older patterns don't serve anymore. And when we talked about generational elements, mm -hmm. a lot of us that are, are willing to do the deeper work and look inside and look at family, you know, patterns and situations that maybe don't serve us anymore. It's hard work, but it, it feels like it finds a lot of us. And so a lot of my patients, a lot of the people that come to retreats, sometimes mm -hmm. they think, how come I'm the one in my family that's having to heal all this generational trauma? And I think what a gift, even though it's hard that it's finding you, that is that seedling, that, that plant, that energy that's seeking its way is like, Oh, this person can, this person holds enough energy, enough compassion, enough love in their heart to heal so many generational aspects and this bridge that we're in now where, you know, a lot of us are not necessarily in survival mode anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm grateful for my folks for that, you know, for working really hard for my grandparents and all the strain and struggle so that I can dedicate so much of my life to being of service that I'm not in fight or flight all the time. And I can do research and I can determine where illness comes from and then bring that back to people. And so that definitely ties in with the emotions that we actually can hold so many emotions at one time. We can, we can hold it all. And that I can, yeah, I feel, uh, I'm getting lot. emotional just listening to you about that. <laughs> There's lots. Yeah. I'm getting emotional too. Yeah. <sighs> There's so much that we can hold mm -hmm. as people. And when I think of my ancestors, you know, my grandparents, the stories I've heard from my dad where they were poor, you know, and they, they struggled and yeah. life was brutal at times and how hard that was for them. That is fuel for me to not only honor the emotions that they never got to express, you know, the emotions that they never had a chance to sit down with a, a somatic therapist or do some breath work that they just went back into the field and back to work or, back into, you know, just survival mode because they actually maybe didn't have food. I can feel all of that ancestry and all that memory in my body all the time. And so when I'm sitting with somebody, I know what a gift it is that I get to do the work that I get to do and that I get to ask them, tell me about your emotions and what you're feeling and all the people that never got asked that before. That is a huge amount of energy that's like moving in our generation because we're aware of this stuff now. Our past generations, they just weren't, they didn't have time. They, they weren't gifted that opportunity. So that's why I say like, we're in this bridge time right now, this really obviously key time on the planet where all of this trauma collectively, the emotions are coming up and the whole list of emotions that you named, what I'm finding in the clinic right now. And for me as well is all of that is coming up now all at once. And what I've come to understand about myself too, is I can feel gratitude and joy and bliss, and I can feel grief at the same time. And I think a lot of us were taught that wasn't possible. You got to choose. You're either happy or you're sad right now. You can't be both. Mm -hmm. That doesn't make any sense. And it's like, it doesn't sure logically, but the body doesn't care what's logical. We can hold various emotions in our body at any given time. That was such a beautiful expression. Um, you were feeling it. I was feeling it. I, I feel the exact same way that you do actually. And it came through on a vision quest a couple years ago where no food, just water for four days out there. And when I came back, that's essentially what I shared in my own words. What you just said mm. is I can, what a disservice it would be to my grandfather on both sides, my grandmother on both sides, what an absolute disservice and disrespect it would be for us to not be the one like that scene in the matrix where Neo is like shown he's the one. And at first he couldn't handle it. He was like, no way. And he went back and then he answered the call again. And then when it came really down to it, he put his hands up to the bullets and he just simply said no. And the bullets fell, not because he was angry, not be, but he had made a decision mm -hmm. in himself. It does not make you better or me better or anyone better that answers the call. It's actually 
to be honest, it's a hell of a lot harder to answer the call, to do the healing. It's yeah. way harder, way harder. And it's no disrespect to people that, that shun away from the healing or that don't want to do the healing. But like you said, we're the one. And we truly are the one we've been looking for. It's just, it's become a platitude in the media. You're the yeah. one, be the hero of your own story. Wipe all that bullshit aside. What you just said is so profound because if we have the courage to answer the call and if somebody's watching or listening and you feel this in your throat or your heart or your stomach or even your perineum or just anywhere in your body, if you're feeling the excitement or the, the pull towards what we're talking about, Fucking go for it. Yeah. Please. <laughs> we need you. We, we have to have you yeah. because you are being called just like so many of us are being called right now to do the hardest work. It's the hardest fucking work. It really, it's not glamorous. It's not sexy. It's really fucking hard. Like spiritual awakening and growing your consciousness is challenging. The yeah. most challenging thing that you'll ever experience, but it's so worth it. Oh my God. The love and the ability of presence and like how I get to lead my life. And I know there's other waves coming of healing, but how I get to lead my life, it's, it's beyond anything I could have dreamed of in 2015 when I was like praying to God, should I be here or not? Like mm. this is worth it, but you have to have the courage to answer the call. Check out some of the videos on this screen that are perfectly curated based on the video you just saw. Make sure you follow me and I'll see you in the next video.